What we do is an art form, but we're not artists in that we're replicating somebody else's art. So we don't take any artistic liberties. What we pride ourselves in is that if you're Nike and you know we're painting the new Air Max and we're painting it on 25 walls and all 25 of those Air Max shoes are gonna look identical. Has there been a wall that you've been really upset to see covered in white at the end of its run? I don't know how you would describe it. When we, when we coat it out and paint it back to white, if that upsets you, you're not gonna really work here that long. In an age of cost saving and convenience, Colossal Media has essentially said, screw that. While printed vinyl banners have become the cheap go-to method for advertising, Colossal has found its niche in going back to the basics, the more tedious and expensive method of hand painting. They do over 500 murals a year, coloring the neighborhoods of 10 major US cities. Most of the art is commissioned by some of the world's biggest brands. We're not like this commodity, right? We're not just like one of, you know, a million billboards out there. I mean, you know, we, we have 110 walls. Each one of them is really special. You know, they're unique. They're like part of like that like neighborhood fabric. You know, people that go to work in the morning, watch us paint, we come home, we're finishing up. They, you know, they talk to the painters. Like people get like sucked into it. And look, it doesn't hurt that anything, you know, handcrafted is really popular right now, right? We're really interested in Colossal in that it's more of an experience for the viewer. So I think people you know, see the ad being painted, even if they don't see it being painted, when they walk by it, it's obviously been painted with a lot of care. Um, and that, I think, commands more attention and even a little bit more respect from the viewer. We didn't choose to do this project to track it in, in quite that same way that we might track other types of advertising. Um, I think it's, you know, it's more about creating an impression and just having it there and being present um, it is enough for us for this to be valuable. What is a wall dog? A wall dog is the term, the industry term for the outdoor sign painter, um, someone who hangs on the side of a building and paints off of scaffolding in all conditions and all weather. You said you can do this in all weather, so like you can be out here like in the snow, for example. Yeah, there's, so some days if it is snowing or if it's bitter cold, the time moves a little bit slower, it wears on you a little more. But when you get in the zone painting, it just kind of flies by. So what's it like when you're actually like up on that rig painting this thing? Being on the rig is, is kind of the pinnacle, like where we want to be. You can get to a meditative type state and not realize that hours have gone by. It just feels good to be part of, of a craft, especially one that's so public and you could say essential too, as the advertising is, to, to um, just kind of communicate to a consumer, uh, communicate to a neighborhood. For me personally, I enjoy the tradition of it, but I also just enjoy the actual execution of it. The actual painting, um, the getting up on the wall and you know being there 10 hours a day plus, year-round is the best part. What's the age gap in the painters? I, I don't know how many generations we have now. It must be close to nine or ten. We're kind of one generation. Teaches the one before, you know, and if you keep going like that, uh, it's great to have that, like, traditional mentorship, which I think um, a lot of businesses just don't have anymore. You know, critics might say this type of work profiting off of you know, corporate clients is kind of taking away from some of the traditional aesthetic of street art. So what would you say to them? Um, yeah, I mean, they, they definitely, I could, I could see where somebody has, has that point. I mean, you know, especially, you know, Paul and I come from, you know, a graffiti background, you know, I mean, we were out there running around, you know, at night, you know, spray painting illegally on stuff. And, you know, I think just, just personally, we have a real respect or you know, street art, graffiti, anything like that. And it's funny, like we've actually turned down like some great advertising locations because there is like good art on it and like we won't paint over it. And there's a lot of stuff that we that we won't do, you know, that like a, a bigger company wouldn't wouldn't think twice about. You know, after Mandela passed away, we, we painted like a, a tribute mural of, of his, his face on, on White Avenue and 
I mean, it was great. Like, we, like we just did it on one of our walls. We didn't have an advertiser on it that month, and we painted this beautiful portrait. And you know, like all day long, people would stop, you know, take pictures in front of it. You know, uh, like we have this this beautiful photo of uh, of a, of a dad taking a picture of his son in front of it. You know, awesome guy. You know, let's 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 do something great. And uh, we were really proud of it. Then, like three months later, you know, we had to put an ad on the wall, and then we got so much shit for painting over uh, Mandela. You know, like evil corporation paints over, you know, beautiful street art. Nobody knew that we painted it to begin with, and that, you know, so a good deed never goes unpunished. Do you guys have plans, or are there any plans currently in the works to expand to other cities? So no. Um, Why? Like it's weird, like you know, you start a business, you know, and then it starts doing well, and you're like, hey, you know, I want to keep growing it, but. The thing with Colossal is it, like it's easy to break it. So, you know, you're only as good as, as our last painting. You know, you, our reputation, like, you know, what, what do they say? It takes a, a, a lifetime to build it, and you know, you can lose it in a day. So, um, you know, we can only do so many paintings well. For us, it's about 50 a month is, is like our absolute max. And if we do more than that, uh, you know, quality would break down. Clients would get pissed off. Um, and it just wouldn't be something that we're proud of. 